This is how it works. Okay. Say nothing and I tell you to say stuff. <laughs> what do I know? How do I know what to say? I'll tell you to say stuff. Okay. All right. Hey, this is Moa Smokes. Where do I look? You can't cut me off as soon as I hit. No, but this I, is I, but this we is just, the camera. You look but at the we camera. just started. I just stare at the camera. camera. Yeah, do no, I no, smile? Do I just stare? Like I, I... You can look at the camera or me, or you can alternate between looking at the camera and me. Okay. Damn, I have just built up the, <laughs> hey, this is Moa Smokes courage too. <laughs> Hey, this is Moa Smokes, and today we're going to be talking about the new batch of flavors from Must Have. So there are two previous Must Have videos that I've done flavor overviews for. Uh, you can find those here and here. I don't know why I'm pointing. They're going to show up and you can go to other videos I posted. But this is the third delivery for the US from Must Have. And this one's 23 flavors, which brings the grand total up to God. What's the number? Let me see your phone. Just double it. I'm like all the videos I watched from Moa Smokes. Oh man, you know, you missed a couple here. Yeah, you know. There's a couple more you missed here. <laughs> let's not, let's not look All at those. Alright, let's just... <laughs> let's just get rid of how do I just... Okay, here we go. Alright, so 16, then how many is this? 22, so 38. 38 plus 23. 38 plus 23? Wait, yeah, wait. Why is Hold on, 22 plus 16. Wait, where are you 38. Going? 38 plus 23. I swear you're just making up random numbers. Hey Siri, what's 38 plus 23? No, no, I know math. 23 is 61. 61 but where did, okay. It's fine. All right. So there's a total of 61 flavors that are available now in the United States from must have. We had 22 in the first batch. We had 16 in the second batch. And now we have 23 in the third batch. Total is? Bro, honestly, I started looking at that flower over there. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's Total is 61. Cool. <laughs> so. 61. I'm joined today by my good friend, Sajad, who's like a brother to me, and he stopped by with food and said, hey, what are these flavors? And I was like, oh, that reminds me, I gotta do that video. So I was like, hey, do you wanna be in the video? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, can you put the flavors in alphabetical order? And if you do, you be in the video. And then he was like, yeah. And he kind of put them all in alphabetical order. He skipped a bunch of letters, but he got there eventually, Look, so. En English is also my fourth language, so just throwing that out there. So uh, what we're gonna do now is he's gonna hand me each flavor one by one. He's gonna open the can and he's gonna smell it. He's gonna tell me what it smells like. And then I'm gonna tell him what the flavor is. All right. You ready? I need you to say the word first. All right, Arar rum. Arar rum? The, the first flavor sounds like Scooby-Doo trying to say something. <laughs> and that's how I like, Arar rum? That, that's what it is. Arar rum. It's like A-R-A-R-A-M. All right, go ahead. But it all look, all the letters look the same on Scooby -Doo. here. Scooby-Doo. Arar rum? Okay. What does it smell like to you? Honestly? Uh-huh. It's kind of like a bubble gum ish. You get bubble gum ish. Okay, I see what you could be smelling as bubble gum. Yeah. So it's actually watermelon, grape, and prune with a little bit of mint. Basically what I said. Yeah, yeah. So Ararum, if that's how you say it, is watermelon, grape, and prune with a little bit of mint. The mint's not super potent. It's just there to be slightly refreshing on the aftertaste or like on the exhale. But what does Ararum mean? Moving on. Let's but go to the next get, one. Okay. Baikal. Hey, that was good. Hey, awesome. Were you practicing that? I wasn't. Okay. I just was thinking about, you know, bikes. Okay. Bike all. Bike all. Bikes for all. But, yep. This smells kind of like... Uh-huh. Some sort of fruit. It smells incredible, first of all. It smells great. It's actually like a... It's a piney soda. A piney soda. Yeah. So smell now that I said piney soda. Do you smell piney soda no, now? I do smell pine. Like, if you walk into a gas station after they just clean it with pine salt and you grab a soda. Piney soda, I feel it, like, you know. I actually love this flavor. I'm a big fan. No, it smells great. All right, so that's Baikal. Barberry candy. Nice. Not to be confused with Burberry. Not Burberry candy, Barberry candy. So the next flavor is Barberry candy. Uh-huh, what's it smell like? So if uh, if I knew what Barberry was. It would smell like Barberry? it smells like Barberry. It does smell like Barberry, But I do right. smell the candy. Uh-huh, it does smell like candy. It's funny, because I feel like on the smell, you get like slight, like alcohol vibes at the end. Do you get that? It's the full low. Yeah, but like, do you get that? Like, I get it. Yeah. So oh, Barber yeah, it's like red wine almost. Right. So Barberry is actually like it's a fruit that's similar to I don't think we have it in the United States, but it's similar to like it. It tastes like a dried cranberry. It's popular in parts of Europe, and Barberry candy is like those little red candies that, that that's what Barberry candy is. Hmm. So it tastes like Barberry, which tastes like dried cranberries. There's like a candy sweetness, and like I said, it's it's popular in parts of Europe. All right, what do we have next? Black currant. Hey, you said it right that time. Black is currant. I, I'm still convinced it's supposed to be currant. It, it does look like it should be black currant. Because currant would be like, you know, fancy. Currant. Like you go to one of those Michelin star restaurants. Currant. Hey, sir, here's a black currant. 
Yeah. Like a croissant. I, okay. That what smells. Like? It smells like a berry. Uh huh. What kind of berry? Like maybe a black currant berry. It does smell like a black currant berry. <laughs> Yo, how did you go black Quran instead of blackberry? Just out of curiosity, in terms of alphabet. So remember how was English, this space? Remember how English is my fourth language? But like that should be next. Yeah, yeah. But remember how English is my fourth language? Okay, so we're gonna go back to blackberry after this. But black Quran is why am I saying Quran now? Black current is black current, which it's is fancy. similar to like pinkies up Quran. Black Quran, black current is a fruit, and if you don't know what black current is, it tastes like uh, red grapes mixed with like cherries. Never knew what it was. Black currant? You never had black currant? No. I like black currant. I also like this flavor a lot. All right, now we can go to blackberry, which is supposed which, to be. Which, the next which was supposed to be. Here, this let me one. let me get this one ready for you. Thank you. No problem. Just rushing me. Can't rush perfection. Blackberry. Was it taste yeah, like? Was it smell like? Solid blackberry. It smells like blackberry, like right? If I just smelled it without looking at it, it'd be a blackberry. You know what's funny? This is the one that I had the highest expectations for it to taste exactly the way it smelled. It does for the most part, but there's like a there's almost like a perfumey fragrance taste in it. I haven't tried it. But I'm telling you. I'll try it. I like blackberry a lot. Like I said, it smells phenomenal. It tastes almost exactly the way it smells, but there's like a slight fragrance aftertaste. Blueberry. Blueberry's next, okay. You're never gonna be able to guess what this is. Let's see. I'm getting hints of a berry. Uh-huh. What color would you say that berry is? Mm, maybe indigo, but I'm gonna call it blue. Hmm, okay, that's a good guess. No, that no, is actually no, no, blueberry. blueberry. Hmm. Wow, blueberry actually smells pretty close to blueberry. I think I need like smelling coffee, like the coffee ground. <laughs> they smell a lot smelling of stuff. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the smelling beans. Blueberry uh, is actually like a, it's a candy blueberry and there's like a slight kind of yogurt or cream aftertaste to it. It's good though. Well, no, it's I like, like the, a blueberry candy. Uh, yeah. It's like a blueberry candy, not the blueberry fruit. Yeah. Like, it's more of a candy taste. Yeah. All right. So chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. I've never been a huge fan of chocolate flavored chisha or a yeah. chocolate mixed with mint in general. Do you like your peppermint patties? I don't. You're not gonna like that flavor at all then, never mind. You can smell it still, it smells great. Yeah, it smells like the peppermint patty that I don't eat. Yeah, so Choco Mint is a York peppermint patty pretty much. Uh, you get the chocolate, you get the, the mintiness aftertaste. Uh, it's one of those flavors that you could probably smoke completely by itself and you'd be completely fine, but also it's one of those flavors that works really well and mixes. Next we got cola. Okay. You're never gonna guess what this one smells like. Yeah, yeah it's textbook cola. I mean, it's very strong though. I wish it tasted the way it smelled. It's it's almost like, you ever seen those fountain sodas? You ever seen the bags that go on those? Yeah. The con it's, a, it's like the concentrate. Yeah. It's the concentrate. That's actually, yeah, that's actually really good explanation. I will say that I wanted cola to be more potent than cola was. Uh, it kind of tasted more like Coke Zero than traditional Coke. If you like cola, it works really well as like a cola mixer. And I will say that as a general statement for all must-have flavors, I feel like they're all made to be mixed and that's where they shine. But there are certain flavors that are completely fine by themselves and obviously it's up to you and your palate. All right, what's next? Estragon. Nice, you said it right. Not to be confused with. I don't know what you're talking about. Estrogen. Not estrogen. That's what I read at estrogen. first. Estrogen. No, that's what I read at first. You never know what this. A few people read it as estrogen, and I was like, "It's almost like cardamom." Cardamom? No, try again. Maybe. You know that smell. No, this is okay. You so, know the smell. Focus. Use your inner Pakistani. I was gonna say we have this thing. Uh -huh. I forgot what it's called. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's this like seed. Hey Siri, call mom. No. Sorry, I'm not sure you're speaking. Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> Cancel. Okay. It's gonna phone a friend. I, do, I forgot what it's called. I know what it is. Mm. I forgot what it's called. So estragon is tarragon. Tarragon? Tarragon. You said that like I should know what it is. You know what tarragon is. If you ever looked up tarragon, you'd be like, oh man, I do know that. Tarragon. Look up tarragon. Oh wait, there's two, two R's. T-A-R-R. -R. Yep, that one. I let autocorrect this thing normally. You've had tarragon before, 100% in food. Um, I have. It also tastes very similar to uh, basil. Yes. Like it's that same family. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I was just lost for words. <clears throat> so there you go. Tarragon or estragon. Estragon. So estragon tastes like tarragon. Um, if you've ever had tarragon, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't and you've had basil, it's very similar to that. It's just like a, is it a plant? It's I a planty I, flavor. I like it. It smells really good. It's actually really good. It mixes like really good. All right, what's next? Feijoa. Feijoa. Uh, that I, was close. I, I see a J there. There is a J why, there. So. It's a ya sound. Well, I, this is supposed to be Russian. Bayoa. Uh, Spanish. So True. This is almost like a Jolly Rancher, but I can't it tell. It does smell one. like a Jolly Rancher. I don't know what Jolly Rancher though. Maybe the red one? So Feoa is actually one of my favorite flavors from this batch. Might be one of my favorites in general. Feoa is a fruit. 
It's actually called feoa. Um, you can look it up. But basically what it tastes like um, is a mix of uh, strawberry, guava, and pineapple all at once. And it's fire. Smells really good. Uh, fun fact, this is actually my second can of feoa. I ran through the first one. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. So feoa is, it tastes like feoa, or if you're not familiar with that, it's strawberry, pineapple, guava, or strawberry, guava, pineapple in that order. Jam. And it's amazing. <clears throat> next, we got Fizzy Dizzy. Fizzy Dizzy's next. Okay. Fizzy Dizzy. Like a vanilla soda, almost. Fizzy Dizzy tastes like vanilla soda to you? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let it air out for a second. I don't know. You're supposed to air out. I don't know, man. Sometimes the smell, you know, just get trapped in there. Air it out. No, I'm still getting like a vanilla, vanilla soda. soda, yeah. It's funny because if I tell you what it is, you're immediately going to be like, yeah, that's what it is. Maybe like cream soda, vanilla soda. It's beer. Beer? It's beer. It's a malt beverage. Oh, like Barbican. Yeah, actually, I get it now. It's a Barbican. So Fizzy Diz is actually supposed to taste like champagne, but to me, it tastes like beer. And for those of you that are from the Middle East, if you've ever had those like Middle Eastern beers like uh, Fairuz or uh, what's the M one? I don't know the M one. Moza, know. Moza, whatever it's called. Oh man, I want to look this up now. I just know Barbican and Laziza. But yeah, it tastes like the, the malt beer that is the flavor base for those drinks. So I actually really like it with like sweet peach, which we'll talk about later. Uh, I like it with watermelon, which we'll talk about later. I like it with apple drops, which is from a previous batch. All right, what's the next right. flavor? This one is gooseberry. Gooseberry. So fun fact, did you know kiwis are not actually kiwis? Kiwi was a brand. They're actually called Chinese gooseberries. I didn't know that. Just like Kleenex. You know? Huh, interesting. Kleenex okay. was a brand. So uh, to be honest, I heard that. I never verified We're it. We're gonna edit all this out. No. You're getting too much shine in this video. It's a fun fact. It's gotta go. All right, what is it? The own people. Gooseberry? Gooseberry is a, it's a, it reminds you almost like, a, like not in a bad way, but it kind of reminds you of like nail polish remover. Not in a bad way, but nail polish remover? But like, not like it smells like it, but it's like, you know, like, I, like you go home, you're smoking shisha, your girl's taking her nail polish off. Like, you know, it's in the air. Okay, I can see that. See? Yeah. So gooseberry is actually another fruit. And if you've never had gooseberry, because I had never had gooseberry, it tastes like a green grape, but it's like sour and tart at the same time. So yeah, it tastes like a tart green grape. It's a little sour and there's like a little bit of jam flavor there or like texture. Texture, is that the right word? It's like a jam. It's like a tart, sour, green jam. Well, you only get texture when you smoke. Yeah, that's why I changed it. Okay. It's like a jam. And what's the next flavor? Uh, ice mint. Ice mint. Huh? Okay. Ice mint. I was gonna say there's no way I said that wrong. No, you said that right. Nice, no, yeah. It's a really strong mint. I like it. You can't <laughs> not like it. It's a really strong mint. It's a really strong mint. It's I like, like it. It's like if you were mint, that'd be you. Strong mint. Strong mint. Ask him about his bench press. Um this actually to me, like in terms of, you're right, the smell is 100% ice mint. It actually tastes like like a really strong, potent version of gum mint. Like it's cold. Yeah, but gum mint is not cold. No, but I'm saying this is cold. This is cold, Like yeah. this is like a strong, potent gum mint. Gum mint used to be my go-to for a long time. It's like, um, it's like, what's that like polar ice, dentine ice? There's like a flavor called polar ice from one of it's those It's like a uh, dentine ice bold, the black one. Yeah, that's, that's that. Is. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, the bold one, but it's the black one. What do we have next? All right, we got marula. I have no idea what to expect with marula. I've never heard this word before. Marula? Really? Yeah. It's nice though. Still hints of nail polish, but like, not like the remover, not the nail polish stuff, but again, not in a bad way. Just like kind of, you know, you know what I mean? But, um. I do not. Jolly Rancher-esque. Jolly Rancher nail polish remover. No, esque. Jolly Rancher-esque. Can I, can I see that? The esque part is important. Okay, I don't get the nail polish on this one, but I will tell you, marula is actually a fruit. It's like a citrus-based fruit. This interpretation of marula is different than other interpretations of marula that I've had in shisha in the past. This to me is like a citrus white peach. I typically don't like peach flavors, but I love this flavor. Marula is top five for me from this batch. Smell it now. Let me know if you get that I peach. definitely smell the white peach now, yeah. but I'm a huge fan of peaches. Like probably my favorite fruit, peach iced tea. So there you go, I'll pack your bowl of that. Perfect, that's what I'm smoking tonight. Perfect. Minty peach iced tea. Oh. Ooh. Morocco, the team that almost did. Oh man, we really wanted them to go for it. We really wanted them to win. They, we, they made us so proud. It, what was the soccer player's name though? Ashraf Hakimi. Shout out to Hakimi. Dropping knowledge for the boys out there. What does Morocco smell like orange. to you? smells orange. Smells kind of like orange. Okay. Like clementine, not orange, but like a clementine. Okay. Like a fresh clementine. Maybe like. What else do you smell though? Leave clementine alone. No, but. <laughs> you got that. Citrus is in there. What else? All right. Like, I don't know, like lemon ish. Okay, citrus is. You're just zoned in on the citrus, huh? Lime, possibly. 
just, just still citrus. <laughs> So Morocco is actually mor supposed to be Moroccan tea. Okay. So it's green tea and it has citrus elements. So there's like a little bit of orange. There's a little bit of, I guess, lemon. Um, there's also a little bit of clove in there. So that's what you're smelling I at the end. I pick up the clove, yeah. That's the refreshing part. Morocco is actually my favorite one from this batch because it is a, I, I think it's probably my favorite tea flavor. Can we mix Morocco with peach? Would that work? Yeah. It's like a tea, like Moroccan peach tea. I got you. It works. You were talking about Marula? You want to mix Morocco and Marula? Well, I know we have one over here that's another piece, so I'm going to see Sweet how peach. that one comes out. Oh, yeah. let's, let's, okay. All right. So next, Paradise. Next is Paradise. Oh, man, I should have let you pronounce that. I figured you'd pronounce that one correctly. <laughs> Paradise? Paradise. Paradise. It's, it's not what I imagine Paradise smelling like. It still smells good. It's like almost like a sweet popcorn. It smells like popcorn-y? Yeah, okay. I smell popcorn. I smell like sweet popcorn. Oh, man, I do smell sweet popcorn. Yeah, like the caramel one, the caramel popcorn. Okay, so it has caramel in it. Okay, I could imagine that being in Paradise. It's caramel, banana, coconut cream. So hmm. Paradise actually tastes like if you mixed coconut shake with candy cow and banana mama um, and added like a little bit of vanilla cream. It's, it, it actually tastes like a mix that I made before I tried Paradise. It smells like a really good popcorn. It's, it doesn't taste like popcorn, it but it does kind of smell like popcorn. I could, I could see it, I'll give it to him. It, I think it's the, the caramel. Like from a commoner point of view, pistachio. Yep, you got that one right. I've had a love-hate relationship with pistachio. Like real pistachios or pistachio flavors? So real pistachio I like. There's only one pistachio gelato I like. Most pistachio gelatos I don't care for. Okay. Um, I had one pistachio flavor shisha at a hookah spot, at a hookah bar, and um, I wasn't a fan of it, so I never tried a pistachio flavored shisha again. Okay. Maybe it'll change my mind. It's very, it's super nutty. I think pistachio is a nut. Yeah, yeah, no, but it was like, oh, I didn't expect that much nut. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out of the video, but I am gonna keep that to black note you with. <laughs> I didn't expect that much nut. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's a pistachio for sure. Like, uh -huh. that's all I get out of it. It's a pistachio. Uh, like you, they probably make a really good it, pistachio it actually, gelato. It does straight, it does smell like straight up pistachio. It's actually, the flavor itself tastes like roasted pistachios. This is one of two pistachio flavors that must have offers. We don't have the other flavor in the United States yet. The other flavor is pistachio cake, but this is more of the, roasted pistachio side of things. So if you want a flavor that will give you an accurate, you know, interpretation of pistachio, this is that. I'm not keeping this in alphabetical order. Or At all, I, I noticed it just went sideways. It's all right, I'll put them in alphabetical order when we're done. But they look cool. All right, next one is Red Bomb. Red Bomb. Don't know what to expect of this. You'll, you'll get it as soon as you smell it, I think. I'm probably wrong. Hmm? What does it smell like? I got like radishes right off the bat. You smell sharp radish. I don't even know what a radish smells like. I had a radish, like in a salad. You're right, it does smell like a radish. <laughs> no, it's a red bomb. It's a I mean, radishes look like little red bombs. Okay, so this does not taste the way it smells. This actually is a pomegranate, and it's like a very, like, bold pomegranate flavor. Like a, okay. I could, I mean, I guess I could see that. It's, it's like, to me, it tastes like a super sweet pomegranate. It's like the pomegranate molasses. It's funny because it is pomegranate and molasses, but, but I know what you're talking but about. But I mean like yeah, the yeah, thing you cook with. I oh, know. Uh, next one is ruby grape. Excellent pronunciation. I like ruby. I like grape. Okay. What's not to like, to, what's not to like about this? <clears throat> There's this flavor I used to smoke in college all the time. It's, it reminds you of that. Like a very like traditional grape. Yes, that's what it is. So like, I will say that out of all the flavors from this batch, this is like the heaviest flavor. It is very much a traditional grape flavor, like very rich flavor. And honestly, if you mix this with ice mint, it's like- That'd be pretty good. A modern grape mint. But like I said, very heavy, but very accurate, very good. So if you're a grape mint fan, ruby grape and ice mint. All right, what's next? Next is sweet melon. Okay. Um, I've I always liked sweet melon or like just melon flavored shisha in general. Really? I always hated melon flavors. I like them. Yes, yeah, like you cut open a melon, ate it. This sweet melon is a sweet melon. It I mean, there's, great. there's really not much more for me to say about sweet melon. If you like melon flavors, it's that. I don't like melon flavors and I thought this one was still pretty good. So good chance that you'll like it. Sweet peach, also uh, going back to my peach flavored iced tea. Oh, okay. And peaches being one of my favorite fruits. Okay. Okay, I think I like this one better than um, the melon the, or the marula? The marula. I think I like that one. That one's way more peach. So marula is the, uh, it's a citrus white peach. Sweet peach is actually just straight up peach. Yeah, so sweet peach to me tastes like, if somebody like mix classic peach with like the peach that you get in peach rings, mm -hmm. like you know the gummies, the peach yeah, ring yeah. gummies, 
it tastes like that. It's like right between candy peach and classic peach. But yeah, if you like peach, you'll like sweet peach. I don't like peach and I still like that one. <clears throat> Reminds me of my favorite peach iced tea. I, I see what you're angling for here on the shisha that you want to smoke after this. Perfect. Yep. All right, watermelon. I got classic watermelon. 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 Yep, watermelon's next. All right, what does that smell like to you? Let's take a look. Just, um, I wouldn't say it's the watermelon fruit itself, but you know how you have like watermelon, watermelon flavored like candies or like Sour Patch Kids, just like that. It does smell exactly like Sour Patch Watermelon. It doesn't taste like that. I wanted it to. It tastes more, actually, you know what? It's, there's hints of it there, but it's more classic watermelon to me. Which is great. Yeah, no, no, I, again, there's three flavors I don't like, right? It's melon, peach, and watermelon, and Sweet peach I liked, sweet melon I liked, watermelon I liked, so go figure. I like the watermelon flavors because I'm slightly allergic to the watermelon fruit. Oh, so this is like the only chance that you have. So fun, I mean, I can eat it, uh -huh. but then it makes like my nasal passages really itchy. Okay. Fun fact, you don't know about me. Last flavor, guys. Last one is violet, mm -hmm. um, color scheme, reminds you of the Lakers. I'm at a loss. Okay, I, I, what does it smell like to you? I don't know. I don't know if you can see how much is left here, but not a lot is left. I've and never smelled violet before. Oh, you're thinking like the flower? Well, I was thinking like the color. You've never smelled the color violet? No. Okay. Makes two of us. I don't know what violet smells like. Maybe Gotham has. You smelled violet before? You're just wagging your tail. Have you smelled violet before? Yes it, or no? It's a man who smelled violet before. He's like, I, I smell violet. I smelled before. that shit before. I'm colorblind, but I see that shit. Yo, smell this? What's that smell like to you? What's that smell like? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know either. He's at a loss. We're at a lot of loss. I'm at a loss. Gotham's at a loss. He gave up. Mo. All right. So <laughs> violet. I, I don't know what it smells like. There's like slight blueberry in the smell. There's slight creaminess to the smell. And now that I said it, you can probably smell it. But in terms of the flavor itself, it's a blueberry cream. There's melon there, and there's like slight floral notes. I will say that out of all these, violet is the one that I was looking most forward to trying. Like I said, Morocco is my favorite from this batch, but. I had tried Morocco before, I had never tried Violet, and when I smoked Violet, it was literally the last flavor that I tried from this batch, and I was like, this is everything I wanted you to be, and so much more. It smells good, I just didn't know what to make of it. Yeah, no, it's it's really good by itself, but it's even better in mixes. That's all 23 flavors, we just got through them. All right, so I'd like to thank Sajad for helping me out with the video. I'd like um, to thank for, uh, you too. Uh, He's really good with words. English is his fourth language, as he told you. Uh, now that we got through this, you now know the flavor overview. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite flavors are. These have been out for about a month now, so I'm sure some of you have already tried a bunch of these. Let me know what you like so far. Let me know some of your favorite mixes that you've had with these. I'll let you know some of my favorite mixes I've had with these. And I'll see you guys next time. If you want to see me again, just let them know. If you don't want to see me again, just let them know. Yeah, let me know. I right, guys, take it easy. <laughs>